we're gonna go from this to this. Okay, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio in the color tab. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my node here in my node graph, and then I'm gonna come up to library and I'm gonna search for light. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna drag and drop light rays onto my clip here. So let's just go ahead and play this back the way it is. So when you first put it on, that is how it looks. So it looks very ethereal, as you can see. So we obviously want this to look a lot more natural. So let's start getting into what that looks like. So you'll notice a few things here. There's a lot of light rays that are generated. Right now it's trying to pull from all these different sources here. So we're obviously pulling from outside, but we're all we're creating rays that are bouncing off the table, bouncing off this laptop here, bouncing off the clothing here, bouncing off this uh, this back part right here that's lit up on the back wall. And you can just see that light is emitting everywhere right now. And we don't want that. We wanna basically have most of the light coming from the back here where the windows are at. And then as the light comes in, we want it to kind of diffuse in naturally. We don't want the rays to be covering anything weird. We just naturally wanna diffuse the rays through the window and just have them gradually hit our surfaces as they're coming in. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come back to our node tree here and we're gonna hit Shift S on our keyboard. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna type in depth. And we're gonna use what's called the depth map. Now keep in mind, if your computer's not beefy with the specs, this will run a little bit slow on your computer, but I'm gonna show you a way how you can easily render and see what you're doing. So that way it's not all jittery when you're trying to edit. But just keep in mind as we're going through this, it, is, it will be a little bit jittery at times, but I'm gonna go back in and show you the final version. Okay, so we'll drag and drop depth map onto our node here. And right away, you'll see this pop up. So basically what the depth map is doing here is it's using AI to kind of read how, like everything that's in the foreground is really bright and then everything in the background is really dark. And basically what it's saying is that we are going to emit light from these lighter areas in the front and then we're not gonna emit any light back here. Now we want to do the exact opposite. We want light to be coming from back here so I'm gonna come over and hit invert. So right now what it's gonna do is it's gonna take our gain from our effect and gradually, as we get to our foreground here, it's going to fall off kind of nice and neatly here as you can see from the preview. So now we'll go ahead and take the preview off. So if I wanna render and see what I've done, if my computer's slow, I'll just come back to the edit tab down here. And then we'll make sure that Render cache color output is selected and we'll go up to playback and make sure that the render cache is set to user. And we'll wait for this to render till the bar is completely blue. Okay, so now we're gonna come in and we're gonna do a deep dive into what we need to adjust here. Now we're gonna adjust our light ray effect a little bit more. So we're gonna click on our second node and then come over to light rays. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn our source threshold up to around 0.496. And you'll notice right away, it takes, it takes away a lot of the weird light stuff that's going on here. And then next what we wanna do is we wanna change the position of where the light is coming from. Cause right now it's coming through the window here and I wanna change it to where it's more center over here. So we'll go ahead and change our X axis to, to 0.716. All right, so let's extend the length out. So this is gonna make a big difference to the look here. So let's extend it out to dot four one one around there. Now that's already looking a lot better. And then soften, we'll turn this up to, we'll turn this up to about dot zero six five. So not too much of a difference there. And then brightness down to dot two seven one. And then gamma will keep at one. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice. I like it. It looks a lot better than when we first started, but I still notice it seems like the light isn't really falling off onto this laptop here very well when you look at that carefully. It just kind of feels like the light is just kind of brush. It's just kind of like overlaid on top of it a little bit too much. So we'll go back to our color tab here. And the last step that we have to do is we actually have to apply our depth map 
to this image here. So we haven't really applied it yet. And the way we do that is we add what's called an alpha output. So we're gonna come up to this blue square here and we'll hold our mouse button down and then we're gonna attach it to this blue triangle. And then you'll notice that the difference is subtle, but it's also very significant because now we can see it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more of a fall off now. So one other thing I forgot to mention that we need to do is we need to adjust the brightness on here by using keyframes. So you'll see here at the very end of the clip, this just looks way too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and turn this down. So we'll turn it down to about 150 there. Okay, and then we'll turn the saturation down to zero because I don't like the warm rays coming in. Okay, so let's look at the final output here. Okay, so there you have it. That is how you add light rays to a clip.